Yo, what up? Hello, Willie. I'm a helpful Honda person, and I'm calling to give you a random act of helpfulness. Oh my god! Oh my god, holy shit! Uh, Willie, we heard that you've been wearing the same overalls for the past 20 years. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Well, I, actually, I, I need more than, more than just the overalls. I, I, need, I need, like, a, I desperately need a new pickup truck. Uh, with some custom rims, uh, well, I, I need a new barbecue set, and, and like okay. a, uh, I, I um, need a new roof over my sir, crib, sir, and, and, and a big big screen TV, big screen TV set. <laughs> sir, we usually uh, we just we usually just buy Th one thank thing. Thank you, Doc. If... Thank you, you guys. W w what what is it, Honda? Uh, yes, we're the helpful Honda people. Uh, well, you you guys are you guys are dope. You I, you know, I can't wait to get my shit. you know I, I give you guys permission to use my voice in your commercial. You guys are dope. <laughs> okay, Willie. Well, uh, today we helped Junkyard Willie get new overalls, uh, a new pickup truck, and yeah. uh, what is it, rims? Yeah, yeah. And uh, barbecue. a b barbecue set, a new roof, and a big screen TV set. During the Honda Summer Clearance event, we can help you find a great deal on a brand new Honda like the 2015 Civic LX. Right now, you can lease one for just $159 a month plus tax. Willie was randomly selected and paid to be on the radio. Y'all some dope motherfuckers. Yo, I, I, I thought that sounded pretty good. How'd that sound in the studio there? We got it. That's the take. All right, why don't we go back to the chorus? I want to try something a little different. What do you want to do different? I, I just want to try something a little different with the lyrics. Just go, go ahead, just roll and record. We'll just roll it, roll it. All right. I'm so drunk tonight. I don't want to puke all over you I'm so drunk tonight Now I gotta pee like a racing horse <laughs> No more beers No more beers The Wanda, Latrina, Lynette Dawn. Every time you do the double dutch, you really turn it on. Bilzara, Mizzeri, Milzetti, Kilzon. Your mama think you ugly and your booty all hairy. Come on. This sounds phony. This sounds really fake. What are you smoking? Crap? 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 Hey, what are you doing? Smoking crack or something? Nah, I, I quit smoking crack long time ago. Long time oh. ago. Oh. My, my high blood pressure, all I can do I, these days, I just drink uh, Mickey Big Mouth. Okay. Uh, Colt 45. Uh, some old chicken. Oh, there you go. By the way, this song, you recognize this song in the background? Yeah, this is from our movie. Lost in Transit. When they're at uh, the liquor store, the Blade and the Rockin' and what's his name? Randy Ratchet. Randy Ratchet. The dog yeah. went to the liquor store to get some free liquor. They <laughs> ran the police <laughs> outfits and shit. <laughs> so, uh, so what do you do for uh, over the weekend? What you do? I nothing. I sat around the trailer. Watch TV. What right. do you do? I, me and Bubba went down to the bus stop, just watching motherfuckers out there. Then we went over to Roscoe's, get something to eat late night. Oh. But you know who lived a high life? You know who lived a high life? Who? Our CEO of this whole entire radio network, Stu Jameson. Stu, yeah. Well, also, he a big he shot. Got a, we, we gonna we gonna play one of his calls off our new album. It's still a pretty good guy. This guy a billionaire, and he also make prank calls. That's why he cool. I mean, he hired us. That's we, right. We get paid from S him. Six dollars an hour for sitting on my fat, lazy, stinking, nasty he, behind. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, this might be a good time to ask him for a raise if we get him on the phone. Maybe, maybe he in a good mood. If we get a raise, we'll, we'll get that a try. <laughs> so listen, all right, well, let's, let's play this call. Stu yeah. said 
and he want us to play his call. Uh, he, he, he like a, 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 a band manager calling to uh, book a reservations. A band at a hotel. Yeah, reservations. This is something kind of like Spinal Tap, this call. Yeah. So, all right, well, let's get the main man on the phone. Stu Jameson, is you there? Uh, yes, I sure am. Good uh, afternoon, uh, gentlemen. Uh, uh, there we uh, at. Uh, how you doing, Stu? I'm, I'm doing good. And I want, by the way, I want to apologize. I'm here at the Mercedes dealership waiting for my new car, so it's a bit noisy in the background here. Damn, Mercedes? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm picking up another uh, Mercedes SLR here, and they're fixing it up. About to take delivery. Holy shit. I thought you already got uh, like one or two uh, two Mercedes. Yeah, I, I, I got a, a red one and a blue one, but uh, yellow is the new fashion, so I'm um, picking up a yellow one today. Holy shit. Yep, yep. Damn. Damn. Mercedes. Well, listen, uh, uh, we don't want to take up too much of your time, so uh, we were going to play your, your new call. Right. And let everybody hear it and yes. talk a little bit about that. Yes, l let's play my call. Oh, all right, all right, right. Blade, Blade, play the call. Play the call. North Community Blood Bank. Oh, the Blood Bank, great. Well, you folks are doing a terrific service to the community. <laughs> You're welcome. Just great. Anyway, the band I manage, I'm, I'm sure you heard of them, Spiders and Bedbugs. They're going to be doing a, a big show in town down at the Earplug, but uh, they're going to have a big spectacle with the lights and everything, and they're going to uh, lower a giant 30-foot insect and make it explode. And they want to just drench the audience in blood, <laughs> so uh, we, we needed to purchase about five gallons for the show. Do you sell by the pint or by the gallon? I have no clue what you're even talking about. <laughs> That's good. This is regarding a blood purchase. Do you sell by the pint or by the gallon? We don't sell it. It's not for public sale. Well, well this is for a big up-and-coming band. Band? Yes. Spiders and Bedbugs. Big, big upcoming heavy metal band. No. Can't do it. I mean, th this is blood that they desperately need. I mean, why can't you help us out? Yeah, well, brother, how? <laughs> because our blood is for patients in need, not for heavy metal bands. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. How about them apples? This, this woman working at the blood bank, she don't appreciate somebody calling up, use their, their precious blood for, for a rock and roll stage show. You know, yeah. it's, it's her loss. You know, that blood could have gone to a really, really good cause. <laughs> Spiders and bed bugs. Well, Stu, it was good to, to have you on the, 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 the album, be on yeah. the same album as you again. Yes, well, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's yeah. Uh, been great talking with you guys. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, oh, oh hold on, hold, hold on. Wait, uh, wait uh, we wanted to ask you something. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get off the phone really quick here as oh, my car's Ready. Oh, all right, we'll make this really, really quick ask, then. Uh, ask him. Basically, uh, you know, we've been working at this radio station a long time, and we like working here. It, it's really cool and all that. Yeah. And you paying us six dollars an hour, and we was gonna ask if maybe y'all could give us maybe like a, uh, a raise. make it like a two dollar raise. <laughs> you guys can't be serious. Oh, well, I, I mean, I, we don't mean to like uh, breathe down your neck or nothing like that, uh, but it, no. it would be it would be nice. Guys, if, yes. uh, what, what did I just get through explaining to you that I'm doing right now? Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the M M Mercedes SLR. Right, you can buy a car. I'm right, 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 right. Yeah. I do not have it in my budget. Uh, in fact, I'm trying to cut costs, and I was actually going to ask you guys, uh, I need you to start uh, handling janitor duties over there at the radio station. Janitor duties. Correct. Who? Oh, me or Willie? I need for both of you guys to start cleaning toilets at the radio station. <sighs> all right, all right. Bye -bye. Well, listen, uh, we don't want to take up no more of your time. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Well, good talking with you, Stu. Just park right there. Okay, gentlemen. Yeah, good talking with you. Thanks a lot. Uh, all right, all right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, so much for for that idea, Stu. Man, that that dude is loaded. He he's worth like he's, like a billion dollars. He 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 owns six hundred radio six, stations. Six hundred radio stations and and a man of noble intelligence. Oh, yeah. you are a thing of beauty. <laughs> hey, I I don't mean to barge in, but we got like a, a caller on line one, man. Somebody on line. Who, who that? Who, who is that? it? Who is it? 
uh, Montreal's calling, man. I, wow. Is we in Canada now? What the hell? What, what you radio talking about? Station. They want Bruce Jenner's gold medal back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. That dude cut off his wiener, man. Yeah, <laughs> that dude uh, won a motherfucking gold, motherfucking medal up in Montreal in, in like 1976. The dude cut off his wiener, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you, let, let me explain what happened. Uh, basically, Bruce Jenner was driving his car on motherfucking PCH, uh, Pacific Coast Highway, Motorized and he automobile. got in a wreck, and, and I don't know what they're saying, it's like manslaughter Killed or some dead. shit. Like, somebody died and shit, uh -oh. y'all know what I'm saying? So, Bruce Jenner thought of this, this idea, because he don't want to go to prison up in Pelican Bay and shit. So he decided he change gonna change his name, change his whole identity. And, and he, uh, he go cut cut off his wiener. This, this motherfucker cut off his noodle. Chop it off. Like, like he think he gonna fool the judge. Like no, he I, ain't I, fooling nobody. Like I'm Caitlyn. No, you ain't. You Bruce Jenner. How far would you go to to, to get out of prison? I ain't going that far. I can tell you that. That's too far. I, I take the pigs on a high-speed police chase. Right. But I ain't chopping out my noodle. But you, you do that. No more hoers. That ain't going to happen. No more hoers. No. Willie don't play that. Well, what else? Uh, the news today, that NASA, they found water, so water what? on Mars. So what? What, what do you think of that? This this motherfucking planet, like, minus 70 degrees, they ain't nothing huh. we can do there. Why the hell, you know, they talking like, oh, we need to send a motherfucking astronaut there. Oh. What what the hell we going to do there? I, I don't know. Exactly, exactly. They, they need to take that same motherfucking money and, and spend it in my motherfucking neighborhood is what they need to do. Hey, dude. Vladimir's on the line. He wants to weigh in on oh. this shit, man. V Vladimir. Vladimir. Put that nigga on. Put him yeah, on. Yeah, put him on. <laughs> Hello. Yo. How, how are you fellows? Hubba. What up, dog? Hubba. How you been? Hubba. Hubba. I am well, but I hear you talk about the American space program. I wanted to tell to you that Russian space program program is much better uh, I, oh. I hear you dog oh. i mean uh, you guys you guys ain't be spending money trying to send some motherfuckers yeah. to mars i'm sure about yes, that they yes, know what we to spend do. money on important things like nuclear weapons and uh, delivery systems to deliver the nuclear weapons well, well, this, uh, speaking of nuclear uh you went nuclear on this uh Chick from the uh, shipping company. Monkey business. This, this is my best <laughs> prank call ever. Cue up, Blade. Play that. Exact play that call. Same oh, he, he's a liar. He's making this now, up. Now, don't give me your monkey business. Uh, but you tell to me about monkey business. I know. Tell that to customer. And he's a liar. You expect me to believe that, Vladimir? Tell, tell the <laughs> customer exactly to more. show their face. Put them on telephone. Sounds like very stupid person. Vladimir. <laughs> Can we just help this customer? I don't like stupid people. Uh, do you work in customer care? This is Operator 10 Vladimir. I don't have time for monkey business. I do not know who you are. And I told you I'm with the regional headquarters in... No, no. You are not with us. <laughs> you yes, are not with yes. us. <laughs> I'm with the regional Damn. office. Well, and I'm trying to help this customer with his I bill. I tell you, have them show their face if they want to make up story. I, I want to hear from uh, them. All right. <laughs> He, he turned it all around on her. Vladimir, you, you on fire on this it one. It is very easy for Russian immigrant to pull prank on American because they are too stupid. Then you got this uh, customer care woman to put the, the customer on a three-way conservation yeah. on the telephone. Yeah. This is because we are very good at infiltrating American security systems. Have a no shit. Very stupid person. You're one less customer for us. Go, go, go call up a... Uh, maybe they uh, want your business, all right. not uh, us. Charles? Yes. I will correct this billing problem for you. It's yeah, crazy. These people are unbelievable. <laughs> all right, well, Vladimir, you unbelievable. Uh, we we want to thank your ass for coming on the show. Dostroyshev Poroshtov. 
What, what, what does that mean? I, I don't know. Uh, thanks for coming on the show, Vladimir. We're coming up on a break. And... Uh, all right, Blake, cut his ass off. All right, we go with, let's go to the break. On the Junkyard Willie and Jim Bob radio show...